Today, many businesses are looking for ways to be more environmentally friendly. Along with implementing greener policies and doing their part to create less waste, energy use can play a big role in the sustainability of an organization. That's where carbon offsets and renewable energy credits, also known as RECs, can help. Although carbon offsets and RECs can both help an organization to green up their energy, they are different tools used for different purposes. The EPA provides this helpful analogy. Think of offsets and RECs as two tools in your sustainability toolbox, like a hammer and a saw. They are not interchangeable. Each tool is used in building a house, but each is used to accomplish specific tasks. One is not more important or better than the other. So, while both RECs and offsets offer an excellent way to help protect the planet, there are some key differences between the two. One, units of measurement. Carbon offsets are measured using equivalent metric tons of CO2. RECs, on the other hand, are measured in megawatt hours, or MWH. Our carbon neutral natural gas uses carbon offsets, while our green electricity uses RECs. Two, purpose. Carbon offsets are designed to address or eliminate greenhouse gas emissions, while RECs help encourage the use and expansion of renewable energy resources and technologies. Three, projects. Offsets come from various types of projects, all of which lower, remove, or avoid emissions. The project that produces a carbon offset has already occurred, such as a reforestation. On the other hand, RECs can only come from renewable electricity sources, such as wind or solar. They can be purchased for future generation projects as well. Another important note is that renewable projects cannot be both a REC and a carbon offset at the same time. Renewable projects must meet different requirements to produce either RECs or offsets. If you're looking to make the switch to clean energy using carbon offsets and RECs, visit IGS.com business today.